Where's your financial, spiritual, and happiness thermostat set at? This is Wayne Sutton, LifeCoachLifestyle.com. Be sure to pick up our book if you haven't and enjoy this episode. Subscribe also if you haven't. Now, you have a spiritual, you have a happiness, you have a financial thermostat. You have a set point and you can change that, but you have to alter your beliefs to achieve that which you want in life. Let me explain to you. People will only take, this is not a conscious decision, it's unconscious. People will only take, will only receive what they think they're worth. Let me give an example. If you think you're worth $50,000 per year, now you may want $300,000, but if you truly believe you're worth $50,000 a year, that's all you will take. That's what your financial set point is. Your thermostat, I'm worth $50,000. Now this is probably an unconscious belief, not conscious, but that's what you will work in. You will work in that area and that's what you will receive. If you think, well, I can be happy on a scale from one to 10, I can be a six. I can be happy four days out of the week. Um, I saw my family was depressed, my friends are depressed. I don't feel like I deserve to be happy all the time. I'd be a, you maybe have done some things in the past that's holding you back. Well, that's your happiness set point. You've got your thermostat set there. And, and the same way with even your spiritual life. How do you feel worthy to be loved by God? Do you feel worthy to be part of this grand universe? Or do you feel unworthy? Do you feel like your identity got some issues so you can't walk in that full awareness of who you are, the greatness of who you are? See, a financial, a spiritual, a happiness set point, they're set by people around us and they're set by our way we grew up, our, our embedded beliefs. But you can change that, you can change that. If I walk into my home, I walk here into the office and it's 70 degrees and I want it to be 75, I just bump up the thermostat. If I want it to be 80, I bump it up a little more. If I really want to really, I can, how high do we bump it? The problem is when we bump up our belief about money or our belief about our relationships, our belief about our happiness, Everything around us may scream, this isn't normal, this isn't normal, so we go back to what we unconsciously believe. So how do you alter those beliefs? How do you change that so you can achieve more, create more, and live a happier lifestyle? Couple of ways. Number one, as you do it by placing yourself in situations where you must do it. That means you place yourself in situations where, I don't want to say fake it till you make it, but you must fake it a little bit. You must place yourself in situations that demand you to go 110%. You go the extra mile. And when you go the extra mile and you achieve the result, then you can say, wow, I did this. And all of a sudden, your financial set point, your happiness set point, your spiritual set point is at a new level. Another way is through association. Association is probably the most effective because it unconsciously retrains you just like you've unconsciously be tra been trained. So if you're making 50000 a year and you're like, I really need to break the six-figure income for my family and for my goals and dreams, then I want you to start finding those people that are making that kind of income and become friends with them, hang out with them. Uh, go Where do they go to? Where do they associate at? If you're trying to get in a financial or maybe a physical, you're maybe trying to lose 50 pounds or maybe trying to get in shape or maybe you're, whatever your fitness goals are, I want you to begin to work out with those who are not in the same level as you, but those who are above you, those who are going to push you, those who are going to strive to go above. And maybe you don't have that workout partner, but you can actually find people through YouTube. You can find people through um, some of these Facebook groups and you can find people that are uh, that are going to push you. Also, hire a fitness coach. Hire somebody that can say, this is where you're at, this is where you need to be. And they can push you and you can believe in yourself. Because once you've done something once, then your mind all of a sudden says, wow, it's possible. If it's possible, then you can do it again. And then once you get to that level, how much more can we do? How much how much more happiness can you stand in your life? How much more money can you stand in your life? So your financial set points, your happiness set points, your physical set points, your spiritual set points, all of these are like a thermostat. And you, um, you have a set point where you're at. If it gets too cold, you're like, wait, 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 wait. Just let me turn it up a little bit. You know how to work that to get your life back on track. How about taking it to a new level? I believe every one of you watching this, you can be happier, you can be healthier, you can earn more money, and you can live the life that you were destined to live. I want you to do something. If you're a coach, a consultant, I want you to think about how you're working with your clients and their financial set points and your own set point. And pick up our book, If you, if, even if you're not a coach, even if you have no interest in becoming a coach, I want you to pick up our book and give you some insights. LifeCoachLifestyle.com. So go to, go to LifeCoachLifestyle.com. Pick up the book. I look forward to seeing you here tomorrow. This is Wayne Sutton. God bless.